I live in a city where a lot of people want to move out. They just want out of here. They're just like, I got to get out of here. You know? Part of it is they feel like they will never change if they get out of here. So you can hear that, hey, can you, hey! Can you hear that traffic out there? That's why I got to get out of here. It's like everybody, I live right where, right where everybody wants to rev up their car, their truck. It's just pathetic. You know, what's wrong with you, dude? You think like now that everyone's heard your car that you're awesome? I don't think so, man. No. Oh, so a lot of people want to get out of the city, anyways. And for some of them, the logic is like this: they say, like, I gotta get out of here because if I don't get out of here, I'll never make any changes in my life. I'll never be anybody different. I'll never be the person that I was meant to be. If I just move to a big city where everything is different, then all the changes that I need to make on the inside will be forced upon me by external changes. I can't make inner changes unless I have external changes first. I gotta get out of here. I hate this city. So that's the first reason. They don't feel like even they will change. Not only will this city never change, but they will never change unless change is forced upon them by external change, which is a good reason to move, I suppose. Like myself, I go for 10 steps in this city and I'm flooded by memories. So how am I ever supposed to change? Everywhere I go, I see the past, you know? Now, some people, they say, I can't find love here. I can't meet anybody who's like me, not in this city. This city's boring, not like me. I'm special, I'm amazing, I'm awesome, I rock. I gotta go to a big city where I'll meet somebody like myself. And that's kind of ridiculous sounding, but you know, you live a certain number of years in a city and you still don't meet anybody? Well, maybe you should move, I don't know. But just that feeling, I see it in people. They're desperate. I'll never find love here. I gotta get out of here. Here, I gotta get out of here. Now, let's pretend for a second you do go to some big city somewhere. What do you imagine is gonna happen? Will you be like walking down the street? People will say, "Hey, did you see the new guy?" Yeah, there's a new guy in there's a new guy in this city of six million people. Did you see the new guy? He's awesome. He rocks. He's amazing. Probably not. You'll probably just be like, where is Waldo? You could go around with like a little map that you unfold. There's a picture of where is Waldo. You got to find him amongst all the other people. That could be you. Unless you have like a bright orange toque and uh, black bifocal lenses or something. Black rimmed spectacles. Well, maybe no one will notice you. Just another face in the crowd. I know, it's sad, isn't it? The truth hurts. Ho, 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 ho. Truth hurts you, cuts you like a knife. But there's other reasons why people want to move. Of course, if you feel like you're, you already are where is Waldo, where you live, then maybe you should move. Because you could be where is Waldo in a better city at least. Ha! <laughs> There's a third reason though. Sometimes people move to a big city from a small city because they have stupid fantasies, okay? Let me let me explain to you about stupid fantasies. Stupid fantasies like this. I grew up in a real small town, all right? Like I grew up in a real small town. We had rodeos and cowboys still. One day I'm 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 outside and these two guys or brothers walk past and uh, the one guy says to the other, the older says to the younger, he says, you know where we got to go? We got to move to Dallas, Texas. And the younger brothers look at him like, wow, tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> he says, we, we got to go to Dallas, Texas because they got the hot women there. They got the hot women there in Dallas, Texas. And they got their own pickup truck. They got the hot women. And they got their own pickup truck. So you can picture this younger brother. He's like visualizing this. He's thinking about it. He's like, yeah, we got to go with the hot women who got their own pickup truck. 
Now, now this happens for a reason, okay? There's logical people in this world who make reasonable decisions and everything pans out for them. Then there's people who are not that way, okay? Most people, they have a thought first and then they have a feeling. The feeling is the reaction to the thought. But if it goes the other way around, and first you have a feeling, and then you follow the feeling with a the thought, then nothing you ever do in life will really come together because Feelings don't determine the objective world around you, okay? So it's important to have a thought first and then a feeling. If you go by a feeling and then your thoughts try and make that feeling a reality in the objective world, nothing you do will work out very well. So that's one reason why people want to move to a big city, because they have stupid fantasies, okay? <sighs> but it's tough sledding. It's very tough sledding to just move to a big city. That's why a lot of people don't do it. Most people here don't do it. They just spend 30 years talking about, I got to get out of here and move. But I remember one woman, she was awesome. She said to me, Peter, you're not going to meet anybody here and neither am I. I tell you, we should just go to Vancouver together. Because I know if I go with you, you'll figure it out. You'll do something. You'll make it happen. You'll get right down to business. And I can just hang out and meet the people I'm supposed to meet. Maybe I should have gone with her. Maybe she was trying to tell me something and my head was too full of rocks to figure it out. But if you live in a small city or a small town and you're all alone... You won't feel much different than a big city, I can tell you that. Maybe you'll be terrified in a big city, you know. Because it works like this. Okay. You go to a small town, 10,000 people, you get to meet people. Because you'll meet the same people over and over, and that's how you'll find somebody, okay? You go to a big city where there's six million people, you're not going to meet the same people every day. You're never going to meet the same person twice, probably. And if you ever do meet them, they might not look the same as they did last time. They cut their hair, they wear sunglasses now, they look a bit different. Whatever, okay? So it's really hard to meet people in a big city. So I would suggest staying with a small place. In fact, I would go even smaller if you want to meet somebody. And it just works out so that a lot of people, they go to the big city, they fall in love, they get married, they have three kids, and then they want to have a house of their own. They come back. That's why they come back. Because they realize that in the big, 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 exciting city, for the cost of a one-bedroom apartment, they could be putting the same amount in to a house. And they could have a big house in a small place. And actually, a lot of people move back to small places from big places after they fall in love. Because they're thinking, I met somebody who's awesome. And because I met somebody who's awesome, other people are going to notice they're awesome. So I better get them to a small, isolated place where they never meet any new people. Keep the magic alive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people, especially guys, are like that. They're like, if I think she's beautiful, I bet everybody does. I've got this idea. Let's go and live in a small place. We can have six kids there. That's what you want to have. There's really only two types of people who can move to a big, big, big city and pull it off. One is the super rich person. A person who could just go to any city on earth and buy three houses. They can do whatever they want. It's the first kind of person who can do it. Okay. The second kind of person who can pull it off is the person who only has 20 bucks to their name. Let's say, not to be mean, but let's say that you're totally broke, which a lot of people are now, okay? Let's be honest here. If you only have 20 bucks to your name and you already know what you're going to do with that 20 bucks, you're going to buy a pizza, why not go to a city you want to have a pizza in? I mean, you could stay in that little rinky-dink small place for the rest of your life. 
kind of place where you look out the window, only one person walks by every half an hour, you could do that if you want. Or you could move to a big city, and if you only got 20 bucks to your name, well, now you got a pizza, and you got the city you want to live in. You got nothing to lose but a place you don't want to live if you got no money. The middle class never does it. Because say you have 35 grand saved up, then you're like, I can't buy a house in New York with 35 grand. I got to stay here for the rest of my life because 35 grand can buy me a little bit of a house. So that little bit of money is worth more to you than the rest of your life and your happiness is. That's the trap of being middle class, okay? Take it from me, I know about these things, okay? Besides, what is a city anyway? The city you live in is only as good as the job you get, the people you meet, and your living room. Because those are the three things you're going to encounter for the rest of your life. The job you have, the people you meet, and how you feel about your living room, you know? So it really doesn't matter on some levels. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around here a little bit because I'm sitting on a chair and it's, I'm kind of wow, you know I, I wanted to show you something here. Huh? Look at this. Like it's Friday night and what am I doing? I'm at home eating this bucket of ice cream. <laughs> it's awesome, man. So okay, let's say that you were here with me and you're eating some ice cream. Oh, yeah. You know, this could be your bite right here. You could have this bite of ice cream. Uh, it's kind of melted and stuff. But you could be here with me eating ice cream, okay? Now, would it matter what city we were in? If you wanted to be here with me eating ice cream, it's just, it wouldn't matter what city we were in. Which only proves it's who you know. City about the city is about as good as the people you know. Okay. Now that'll be all, folks. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, oh yeah, one more thing. Okay, now picture this. Answer this question. Answer this question. Where on earth would you want to eat a pizza if you had 20 bucks and that was all you had? Maybe it's Miami. You want to go to Miami? Lots of nice people there. You got like people from uh, Brazil. You got lots of Cubans in Miami. They're nice people. I know. I went there. They like to dance. They like to have colorful clothes. They're really outgoing. Cuban people. Awesome people. 20 bucks and a pizza and Cuban people. Or you could just stay the same for the rest of your life. If you were here eating ice cream, that'd be even better. Okay? Bye!